In this video, I am finally answering your questions about the rally combinations. I will be listing all the rally combos that I think are worth mentioning and I have personally tested together with my OV family in almost 1000 days of playing Rise of Kingdoms. This rating reflects, of course, my personal opinion and experience, and you don't necessarily need to agree with me. What I want to emphasize is that rallying is the most complicated thing in the game on a mechanic standpoint. Many variables are involved in the good success of a rally, among which the tech of the rally leader, the VIP level, the equipment, the choice of support skills in case of the Season of Conquest KVK, the commanders defending, the ability to keep the rally full with small marches, to avoid the troop count to have too many low peaks, uh, again, the ratio of tier 4 and tier 5s in the rally, people joining with the wrong troops, the position of the objective and much more. I've thought a long time about this video, I gathered data, I looked at old media stored in my devices, old reports, old footages, everything culminates to this moment, preparing this video for you. I am sure that in a couple months, this ranking system will need to be updated. To eventually include new meta commanders for certain aspects of the rallying system, but that's okay, a follow-up video can always be made. Let's speak about it. Before, please consider supporting the channel by leaving a like, if you like my content of course, and subscribing to the channel. It's always free, and you can always change your mind later. Let's go! Hello everyone and welcome back to Wig Gaming. Today I present you an important video that I needed to make for a long time because I wanted to observe carefully the latest reports from different KVKs and also experiencing the battles with the latest commanders myself. But finally here we are. I have divided the ratings in four categories. Structures, Cities, Counter Rally and Barbarian Site. At the end, I express an overall judgment which of course gives more importance to rallying structures and city rally compared to the counter rally. The barbarian aspect of the rally is very marginal and I put it there just to be complete but again, overall, I don't give it so much importance at all. The ratings, as usual, can go from D, which is the worst, to S, which is the best, going through C, B and A. Let's begin with the cavalry, shall we? Which is the first rallying combo that comes to your mind? Personally, Minamoto and Cao Cao. It's probably the first combo players had to rally with in the game. You could get Minamoto in the VIP privilege chests and Cao Cao pretty early from the gold keys, so I will not rate this combo based on the capabilities that it had in the early days of Rise of Kingdoms. Nowadays, the only function of this combo is to rally barbarian sites and forts, and there, this is a top combo. Overall, I will not stretch further than giving it a B. Genghis Khan and Minamoto, or Cao Cao. Same story. A glass cannon to rally objectives and cities. Overall, a B for being the best barbarian sites rally in the entire game, together with Moctezuma. Genghis Khan and Saladin. A good early KVK rallying combo. B overall. Saladin and Edelflet. Excellent as counter rally because of the skill damage reduction offered by Saladin, so quite resistant to swarms, and the debuff part offered by Edelflet. Tier A in the counter rally category, tier B overall. Saladin and William. They work better on the open field for sure, like I have discussed in this video a few weeks ago. Card up on the top, check it out. B plus for Saladin and William. Attila and Takeda, a revolutionary combo without any doubt when it first came out. For sure the combo that inflicted the most damage on this game and maybe still does, together with Zenobia. It is, and probably will always be, the best CT rally combo in the entire game, casualties are just over the top. Still excellent for structures, it gets beaten up by Zenobia and Yadviga, but against any other garrison, Attila and Takeda can do very well, still today. Now, if you want to kill fast, Attila and Takeda is not for you. They are very slow killing, not inflicting skill damage. Overall, A+. 
Attila and Chandragupta. Not much to say. A very good variant to Attila Takeda. Works great if hits a second rally on a structure because this combo does not need to be tanking anymore and at the same time can debuff the health of the target, letting the main rally do an excellent job. And at the same time, they will inflict quite a bit of damage. A plus overall. Chandra and William, the fastest killing cavalry after the newly released Zhang Yu. Excellent history in Arc of Osiris, very used in Season 3, surely a top cavalry combo both in rally and open field. A plus overall. Zhang Yu and William, very fast killing, not very tanky, surely needs a field support. A plus overall. Zhang Yu and Chandra Gupta, the new focus for rally leaders. Excellent in structure rally, where I gave this an S. Excellent in city rally as well and as counter rally. Overall, a big fat S. Let's go over to the archers now. So the archers are in a very difficult position at the moment. Uh, with Zenobia around, which some archers could deal with anyway, and the newly released Yadviga, the cavalry garrison commander, there is not much space for them in the later KVKs. But let's proceed with order. YSG and El Cid. Probably the strongest pair of archers in KVK 1, and one of the strongest, if not the strongest, rally overall in KVK 1. I still remember Slowdis, YSG and Cid punching holes in the flags, but nowadays, not a big deal. C plus, B minus overall. Artemisia and Tomiris. Good debuffers. Um, thanks to the tankiness of Artemisia and the fact that she silences herself, Tomiris can max stack the poison most of the time. C plus overall. Not very suggested. Edward and Tomiris. Solid in early KVKs. Also in open field, not only in rally. Good debuff, but it's extremely easy to swarm due to the lack of AoE damage. Tier B overall. Edward and YSG. Better than Ed and Tommy for sure, very good damage output in early KVKs, especially during double rallies. They could clear a good amount of marches around thanks to YSG. Ramses and Cyrus. Very good when not counter rallied, especially by skill damage dealers, and also very good as second rally. B plus overall. Edward and Nebuchadnezzar, great alternative to Ramses and Nebu. It has been used a lot this past KVK. A overall. Cyrus and Nebu, good amount of DPS. A plus for rallying structures and cities. A plus overall. Ramses and YSG, other than being one of the top open field marches, it is a top tier archer rallying combo as well. Good anti swarm technology by Ramses thanks to the skill damage reduction, great AoE by YSG, great counter rally if you need to clear some field presence, A plus, S minus overall. Ramses and Nebuchadnezzar works better than any of the previously listed archer rally combos. Unfortunately, as I said before, with Yadviga being released, I suspect he will be much less present on the rally horizon, but overall the most solid archer rally pair. Tier S. Infantry. Let's begin with Alex and YSG. Top tier rally in KVKs 1 to 3. Good city rally combo. B overall. Guan Yu and Alexander the Great. Very good, but Guan Yu is not at his full potential with Alex. Maybe in open field, but not in rally. B plus overall. Alex and Harold. Very, very solid. Great choice for Season of Conquest KVKs. I've seen this around so much. A- overall. Guan Yu and Leonidas, for me the top tier infantry rally after Guan and Harold. Tier A overall. Guan Yu and Harold, extremely solid. I spoke about this combo as the best infantry rallying combo which can be devastating if you have a top equipment. A plus, S- minus overall, which can even go to S with the right equipment. Check out my infantry video, card up on the top. Guan Yu and Trajan, surprising alternative to Guan Yu and Leonidas or Harald. You can fit mixed troops in there with the right talent tree on one. By the way, join our Discord because we have a bunch of talent trees there and you can request whatever you want. And uh, Guan Yu and Trajan is still dealing a ton of damage when you put mixed troops inside. I rate this with an A. But it's not over. 
We have seen cavalry, archers, infantry, but also leadership needs to be accounted for. Mehmet and Frederick I, or any combination of Caesar and Hannibal Barca, etc. Good in early KVKs, but don't get fooled. Nowadays it's trash. Don't, don't even bother. I gave them a B- overall out of pity because maybe you don't have an Attila and Takeda to rally cities with and you max them out with the gold chests. And it can be a good alternative to, to trash your mix units or siege units. Trajan and Epugadneza with mixed troops, mostly archers. We have used these a lot, these KVKs, since we had a lot of archers and honestly, it works great. B plus overall. Trajan and YSS. Solid if you want to dump all the mixed troops that you have left. Maybe in a KVK. B minus overall. Trajan and Harald. The opposite Harald and Trajan are also very good, but that sticks to the infantry category. Trajan primary is surprisingly good here as well, good pick, quite resistant thanks to the defense bulk over time. I think Trajan revealed himself to be one of the best commanders in the entire game lately. And now let's recap on the screen the best rally pairings for each single category, starting from rallying structures. We have Zhang Yu and Chandragupta for the cavalry rally, devastating in the right conditions. For the archer category we have Ramses and Nebuchadnezzar, which Need to be really careful now to Yadviga, as we said before. For infantry, we got Guan Yu and Harald, and for leadership, Trajan and Nebuchadnezzar with mixed troops, preferably archers. City Rally, I think there is not much to say, but confirming Attila and Takeda as in discussed boss of the City Rally. Ramses and Nebuchadnezzar for archers, Guan Yu and Harald for infantry, and Mehmed and Frederick I for leadership. Counter Rally, Zhang Yu and Chandragupta for cavalry with a special mention to Saladin and Edelflet. Again, Ramses and Nebu for archers, Guan Yu and Harald for infantry with a big S, because if you keep it full, the amount of skill damage will make the rally you are hitting going very low very fast, and that will cause a lot of casualties to the opponents. Not really worth having a leadership counter rally. Barbarian rallies, I will only mention Genghis Khan and Minamoto or Cao Cao as the best one in the entire game, with a special mention to Zhang Yu and Chandra if they are hitting a secondary rally on a pass, for example, because the fast skills plus the health debuff is going to help a lot the primary rally. The overall picture, my favorite rallies, one per category, are Zhang Yu and Chandra Gupta for cavalry. Ramses and Nebuchadnezzar for archers, Guan Yu and Harald for infantry, and Trajan and Harald for leadership. I think it's time to close this video. Let me know in the comment section down below if this was helpful and if you wish me to make the same rating for the garrison combos, analyzing as many of them as possible in relation to the rallying combos. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you enjoy my content and activate the bell for notifications. As always, I will see you on the next one. Ciao!